and welcome to the next replay where I'm gonna be roasting one of my viewers. This time we got a replay from Aldrin, a master three Terran player, five point, no, five point, four point three km or more, and he sent us this TVP. TVP is always exciting to see, so let's go into it. Let me quickly adjust the sound uh, to make sure that everything is fine in the video itself. Um, TVP Master League, I don't know what to expect after the, the first game that I watched between the, the Mac Terran and the Zerg. Probably shouldn't expect anything from this. Um, let's see, Depot at 14 supply, very nice. Stop the rally point, thank you. And we're going to be seeing a Reaper fast expand or a double gas, that is the first question that I have. We see a barracks into gas. Wow, perfect play so far. There's the probes and an SV. Why did this guy send the replay? I mean, he's flawless. Ah, oh, you're not making SVs. How can you be Master League? You're not making SVs one minute into the game. Well, that was a fluke, right? That doesn't happen very often. Just happens that one time. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see it, even if, even if it hurt me. He does send down a second SV. That is that, that that is what I like to see. Now make the command center. There we go. Just a little bit late. 25 minerals. But hey, that's fine. We're gonna be seeing a scout from the turn side as well. To be fair, I mean You've played perfect until minute one. And then you didn't make SVs, but now this looks very good as well in terms of opening. You can definitely see the difference between a master player and like a diamond player here. Or a gold league player. We're gonna throw down the factory. We're gonna fast forward a little bit because I don't have anything to roast here. So people are like kind of falling asleep. But yeah, making the bunker at the front. Nah. Let's make the bunker next time here and then you get a smile from me. Oh, I saw, I saw that. Look at that building time of the SV, see? You need to be making SVs. I saw that. Not making SVs, not making SVC. Should have had already one more queued up. So far, my, my ears, my, my ears, my, my eyes, they, they, they're not burning. This build order looks legit. Make something! Thank you. A uh, water mine, okay. The Reaper goes in, sees a Stalker. That is some kind of information that we do like to see. Currently my dog is with me, so I shouldn't really shout, otherwise he's kind of afraid for no reason. I don't want to scare him. Oh! Okay, he's making SVs. You're not fully saturated over here. You really need to be fixing that. We're not making a Man, like, why did you send me the replay? Like, can't you even see, like, your mistakes yourself? You don't make SVs. You need to make SVs more continuously. Oh, and now we're freestyling. Ah, oh, this is a freestyle, Terran. We're making a, like, a... What are you gonna do here? Like, make a depot wall around your base? Making these barracks at the same time, like, the add-ons? Build is not flawless. Um, the way that you want to do it to like deep dive here. So like making the barracks right now, like look at your money. You've, not only are you like a little bit, you're not really supply, but the depot is timed perfectly. But at this point um, in the game, you don't want to be spending money on those because you need to be getting tech labs. Now, if you played the, that is the case if you played the build order correctly. Now, you didn't play the build absolutely perfect. Um, I give you like a 8 out of 10. You didn't do a 10 out of 10, but usually you should already be making like tech labs out of like here and here. And um, because you also skipped some SVs, I, I say skip now so to make you feel better about it. Um, you don't actually have the money to afford this and we're gonna see a huge problem here uh, when those um, tech labs are completed. So now we do go for the wooder mine drop. Now, I don't mind your scouting because you saw a stalker and the stalker tells you that it's blink. So that's great logic. I imply that myself as well. 
Oh, the depot wall continues. I knew it. Make an eBay as well, by the way. When oh, you're not making a raven. Why? So what do you do if like DT show up now? You just leave the game? DTs are invisible. You want to have something against those? You, you don't just want to have like nothing. So like this is not a build order. Like before sending me replay the next time, you should really study like a proper build because this is not it. I, I take that as disrespect towards me. If any one of you guys ever sent me a replay and uh, your master league or like high diamond and you didn't even study the build or you don't even make workers continuously, I can't help you. I'm expecting you to be executing the build properly at the very least. Now we're making siege tanks, but we should stop making siege tanks because there's no gas here. So that means he's going to make a lot of zealots. I'm, like, I'm being a little bit silly, like analyzing this because it's like, are people actually like not smart enough to figure it out? Like the other guy is, has no gases on the natural and we're making siege tanks. What does like no gas in the natural mean? Like, do you think he's going to make a lot of Colossus with no gas in his natural? No, he's going to make Charge Lords. He doesn't have Charge Research yet, but I'm going to tell you, he's going to make a lot of Zealots. And we are stuck here making Siege Tanks or what? By the way, we're not continuously making SCVs. With a 2 base setup, you should always go up to 48 SCVs. And you don't... Oh, no. No! Wow, we don't have an eBay. I mean, the gas is bad as well, but like not having an eBay. I'm seriously considering like quitting this replay now. Why am I watching this? You're forgetting plus one in this game or what? And that's why you're going to lose the game and like you want me to help you. <sighs> wow. Wow. Look at how much money you're floating. What are you doing? Nothing! Yeah! You're doing nothing, you don't even research combat shields. You need to be spending your money properly, please. I'm gonna start crying if you don't do that. Please make an eBay. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop breathing until you make an eBay, starting now. <laughs> Please make an eBay, otherwise I'm gonna die. Oh, uh, make... Oh, thank God, there's eBay. I had to fast forward a little bit, but it took a while. Anyways, let's go back to the push. You, you're doing a two base push with 1100 minerals in the bank, plus the third base, so technically 1600 minerals in the bank. You don't have an eBay, you only have stim, you don't have combat shields, you're making tanks against a protoss only making zealots, and you want me to like analyze your replay. And you're move commanding your army into the pro- no, at least not that. That's nice, you didn't- I mean you didn't move command the army into the protoss, that's- that's nicely done. Now we're micro, your micro is pretty. I'll give you that. The macro is pretty. The macro? Like, we're still making tanks against zealots. And we're getting double eBay, like, now. You know what the most important upgrade in the game is? It is, um, plus one upgrade uh, for the marines. Because, you know, I, I never say, like, in TVP, I never say that, like, stim is the most important upgrade or combat shields. Because you always look at your barracks and you never forget about it. But plus one is an upgrade that you tend to forget. And in this case, that's what, like, I didn't think that's what happened. I'm not going to give that to you. You didn't forget the upgrades. Um, You just didn't study the build correctly. But, like, sometimes that happens. But, like, that's the reason why plus one is, like, the most important upgrade. Because it's, like, the only upgrade that you also forget. Like, I've never seen someone forget stim pack. But I see people forgetting upgrades entirely. And, like... You really need to be getting down the build order correctly. So like, uh, at this point in the game, what you want to do 
is well i mean at this point to be honest like at this point in the game you can't do anything like the game is already so messed up like um at this point in the game what you want to do is you want to quit the game and like try again because like cleaning up this mess is going to take a while you might as well like start a new one like that's really you, you created such a mess here like honestly even i wouldn't want to clean this one up so i don't even know where to begin for that i think we need to dive in a little bit like before that so basically here your main mistake was before you set up for your attack you made metavex very early on spent your gas in that didn't make like uh, ebay you didn't get plus one and say you got metavex early you did not take the gas early at your natural and um that just set you up for a disaster you made marauders if you like if you are like short on money let's say like let's say you, you can like you have like so much money that you can either buy like a, a Gucci bag or like um, food for the rest of the month. What, what would you choose? Like you're really like low on money. Would you choose like the Gucci bag or would you choose like the food for like, let's say Gucci bag is expensive, let's say for the rest of the year. Um, and essentially what you're making here, you're making Marauders. Like it's like, uh, I don't even know how to put it. It's like. You don't have any money, but you're still spending the money. Like, you don't have any gas, but you're still spending the gas. Like, you're making bad decisions in how you spend your money. Like, Marauders are way too expensive for your lifestyle at the moment. You don't have any gas. And, like, if you don't have gas, you shouldn't be making any gas units. Because one way to spend, uh, to, to, like, save some gas is, like, to not spend the gas, right? So, like, spend your money on the correct things. And then eventually you can also buy a Gucci bag. But, like, judging by this, this is this is far away. You're not gonna get any... any fancy back. Like, looking at this play, you're homeless. I, I didn't wanna... I don't wanna have this Terran base. This is, like, terrible. But, you're doing the right things, so you're getting three, then third. But yeah, to, like, really help you out, um, you do need to get eBay. You do need to stop making tanks against someone making zealots. And we need to be spending that money. We need to just make SCVs. We need to just spam bio. Make stuff, make stuff. Just make stuff. Queue up stuff, make stuff. Um, but really the upgrades are the most important thing here. Let's see if you can clean up the mess. So we're gonna go for the drop play here after our push got pushed back a little bit. And we do get quite a lot of uh, kills here. Oh. I see that you're F2-ing, but I do that as well, so I have nothing to say about that. You're playing like Maru or me, so that's pretty amazing. I know you get pushed back by the charge lot pretty heavily, but we're getting 1-1. One, one. We're not floating money anymore, so like now you cleaned up the mess. Good job. Oh, I said good job to somebody that's making four tech clips. Ah, why did I do that? I take it back. Why do I say that? You're making four attack lefts on the barracks. You're making siege tanks. You're building Marauder tank against Zealots. Marauders are not good against Zealots. Tanks aren't either. We're just dying to random Zealots. No. Ugh. Also, like, dropping, like, focus more on the macro here. Like, don't drop like this. Because here the macro is more important. But one thing I like to do is I like to wall off the natural. So that Zealot Rumbies aren't as scary. So I set the rally point here. I have, like, a depot wall and then I raise uh, every depot except the one where I rally. And then, like, that puts, like, the Zealots in the choke point and that's very nice. Now what we want to do is... Ah, yeah, of course. We, we have, as you can see, we have five barracks, uh, four with a tech lab, and we're making marines out of the barracks, of course. Every barracks right now is producing marines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, another trick is, if you do have that money, like right now you have the money for your for your luxury, like you can, you can get a ghost academy now, and you can just, instead of making more marines, you can get like ghosts. Because you have the money anyways. Or you can get an armory and you can get upgrades. Yeah, Zealots, yeah. So yeah, you did very well. But then you kind of wasted a lot on the other side. Um, and now, 
like you just don't really seem to understand what you should make the entire game we're not making any like okay so the game is more complicated than just what I expect like what I thought it would be in the beginning like not making SVs. you also don't have concussive shells by the way so like you really have to clean up your play like you can't play like this you really can't and I'm not just saying that um, because I want to be harsh on you but like if you clean up your play and you get like down the build order correctly and we don't forget the upgrades and we're getting the right units then you will be a lot stronger here the protoss wins one last thing I'm gonna show you I know I know we're going back into the replay if that's too much for me you like turn off your monitor so you don't have to suffer any further I'm gonna suffer one last time with you to explain fully how the build order works so to summarize and give you an in-depth analysis on how the build works so up to this point you did well we're making water mines we're making the medevac the next building should be a tech lab for like double tech lab is fine too right now we should be making SCVs these barracks should not be placed no barracks no barracks first you make SCVs then you wait until the medevacs are done just think about like the barracks not being here just I know it's hard but like think they are not here double tech lab correct then we make barracks one then we make barracks two after we waited a little bit and we've secured some more mining but basically when you want to make them is after tank and raven so now ideally if you have the money before you can also do it before ideally now you want to get a tank and a raven and you want to get an ebay and a gas with the th three barracks so like these barracks were not even that bad just at this point in the game when you make the raven and when you make the tank you want to make an ebay and another gas at that point uh you do the wooder drop by the way your wooder drop is like going to the corner of the map um i don't know if your pilot is drunk or you're playing without the monitor turned on but um just send it like in a little bit like a faster way don't send it like this because it could have arrived like 20 seconds earlier and now like um Tanks are good against Colossus and anything else you want to make water mines. So here you go with the water mine, you scout the natural, you see no gas. So this is one you should just make water mines. And you should not start Marauder straight away because you don't have the gas. If you don't have the gas, first make Marines and then later on if you have the gas make Marauders. Marauders cost 50 gas each if you make them out of two tech maps. So you don't do that, you need the eBay for plus one. Just make Marines for now. So you can spend the gas elsewhere take the third gas here stop making tanks that's all ways to save your gas and spend it in like more important stuff like plus one upgrade or combat shields um we are not making stvs so you should have had the gas here earlier um we don't have the upgrades and now we go for the push without the upgrade make sure that you line up your upgrades plus one combat shields and stim and then go for the push and make sure to not make tanks against zealous that's what we learned today i guess so thank you very much for that reply. I hope you learned something. Um, yeah, not much more to add. Hope to see you again for the next replay. Hopefully it's going to be, maybe there's going to be at some point a replay that I'm going to be just impressed by. We'll see. Not this time though. Make sure to leave a like and see you next time. Bye-bye.